This is Sid and welcome to this Terraform demo. Now this is the story of how I moved my taco shop to the cloud. I have an online taco shop, sidstakaria.com. We are the world's first and only drone part taco shop and we guarantee that all of our taco deliveries are fast, reliable and secure. Now business is doing really well and at some point I realized I need to move off this local on-prem WordPress server into the cloud. Have a cloud origin and front it with a cloud delivery network. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I went about doing this. I'll use Terraform to spin up a test WordPress instance in AWS, assign it a static IP, CNAME it to Akamai and front it with the Akamai Edge. More importantly, I'm going to do this in an extremely simple standard way in three minutes. No dependencies on UIs, needing to construct API calls, going through pages of documentation, really doing this without having any domain knowledge. I already initialized and installed the latest version of Terraform on my system. The first thing I'm going to do is launch a new AWS WordPress LightSail instance and assign it a static IP. The really cool part about any Terraform certified vendor is that they provide templates, basically a starting point you can just copy and use with standard Terraform commands. I'm just going to include my instance name in my AWS resource and run a terraform apply command. This will take about 30 seconds. And let's go back to the UI, refresh this and you'll see my instance show up over here. And while it's doing this, let's now switch to the Akamai resource. I have an Akamai onboarding template that I simply copy from a Terraform Git repository. If I go back to this template that I've modified, you'll see that I've already got my DNS record set up, and I also get my property template out of the gate. All I need to do is simply give it the specific property name that I need and my credentials. I see that my AWS instance is up. And so I'm now going to just simply grab the IP address that it generated. So let's use this guy and go back to our Akamai provider. And I'm going to set this in my origin snippet. I change my host name to have the IP address, save that. Now the really cool part here is that I can simply leverage example snippets we have already included in the template directory. We have examples for common tasks such as including alternate origins and different caching, routing and performance logic. For example, I know that my site expects a lot of API traffic in the future. All I do is simply in include the API gateway snippet to manage that API traffic better right out of the gate. And then we do exactly what we did for the AWS resource, which is just simply run a Terraform apply command. This is going to both create a new DNS record and deploy my property. So if I go to the UI to verify this, I go to my DNS screen. Go inside my zone. And there I see my CNAME record being already created, wpcloud.sidstockaria.com. Now let's verify the same thing for properties. I search for the property we just created. It's already shown up, which is good news. Version one, if I look inside the property, I see that my API gateway behavior is included as well. If I hit the activate tab, I'll see the property is being deployed as well. Three minutes in, looks like the property is on Akamai. And we are done. I just spun up an AWS instance in the cloud, CNAMed it to Akamai, and got it on our network without any domain knowledge as promised. But there's even more we can do here. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how I add some custom logic to my site. 
I want to add a custom authorization header logic at the edge so all my requests aren't going back to my AWS origin. I've already built some JavaScript using an Akamai Edge worker for this, and I simply add that snippet to my configuration. So similar to what we did with the gateway, we add an Edge worker, save that, go back to our command line, and run a Terraform apply. We verify, go back to the property and verify that this is actually being deployed. Let's refresh it. The good news is because the DNS record hasn't changed, even though we have it in the Terraform file, it's not going to modify that. When I look at version two of my property, there you have it. My edge worker has shown up as well. A couple of minutes in, that logic is live as well. So there you have it. I just migrated Sits Takaria to the cloud, optimized it for API traffic, and added some personalized offload logic to it all in about five minutes. Check out the Akamai Terraform page for more information and also our Git repo where we have a lot of examples, including the onboarding one and a lot of examples uploaded through our developer community as well. Thanks for watching.